take the data giving the minimum and maximum temperature of various cities giving in the beginning of the chapter that is we have to take table 3.1 plot a double bar graph using a data and answer the following so all these questions we have to answer based on the bar graph now this is our table in which these are different cities and for each and every city we have maximum and minimum temperature so how we are going to plot our graph this is our x axis and this is our y axis so on x axis definitely we are going to mark temperature so temperature will come on y axis whereas on x axis the cities will come and here double bar graph will come because we are going to mark maximum temperature and minimum temperature here so maximum and minimum temperature we are going to measure it over here so double bar graph will come like this now about scale as you can see that minimum and maximum temperature majorly readings or the observation are lying in between 30 degree to 20 degree so if you will draw a bar graph like this that for each unit you are taking 10 degree celsius temperature then this bar graph will concentrate over here in this region because majority of the readings are in between 20 to 30 and to 40. so to make this graph little bit bigger what we are going to do is we are going to take two units per 10 degree so earlier we were taking one unit for 10 degree but now we are taking two units for 10 degree so our bar graph will be little bit bigger and all the readings will not lie in this small region so we are going to make this bar graph little bit bigger and that is how we are going to take our estimated scale so now let us start plotting our graph this is my y-axis this is my x-axis and as I have explained earlier I am taking two units for 10 degree so per two unit I am taking 10 degree so now let us mark maximum and minimum temperature Ahmedabad it is 38 so it will come somewhere over here so let us first mark all the maximum temperature 38 Amritsar it is 37 then Bangalore it is 28 Then Chennai it is 36, Delhi it is 38, then Jaipur 39 and similarly I am going to mark all the maximum and minimum temperature and I am going to draw a bar graph accordingly. This is how my bar graph will look like when I am going to plot here maximum temperature and minimum temperature. So blue bars are represent the maximum temperature of the city and the orange bars are represents the minimum temperature of the city now based on the bar graph we have to answer some of the questions that first question is which city has the largest difference in minimum and maximum temperature on given date so we have to look at the bar graph and we have to see that where the difference is maximum so as you can see here between these two bars we can see that the difference is maximum so that is the temperature of Jammu so Jammu has the largest difference second question which is the hottest city and which is the coldest city so here hottest city is Jammu as we can see here that this bars is maximum compared to all whereas coldest city so we have to check for the minimum temperature and that we can see that Bangalore has the minimum temperature over here so coldest city is Bangalore whereas hottest city is Jammu. Third question. Name two cities where maximum temperature of one was the less than the minimum temperature of the other. So Bangalore's maximum temperature is 20 degree Celsius here. Now let us check for the minimum temperature that Ahmedabad and Jammu here has the 29 degree Celsius which is even higher compared to the maximum temperature of Bangalore of this two city that Ahmedabad and Jaipur this minimum temperature is also even higher than the Bangalore's maximum temperature so Bangalore is the coldest place 
name the city which has the least difference between its minimum and maximum temperature so the difference between two bars has to be minimum that we can see it over here that in mumbai the last two bars we can see that the difference is the least over here so mumbai has the least difference between minimum and maximum temperature so thank you for watching and learning with us if you have any doubt please comment down below i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe learn yourself